To Coruscant we go, baby. It's gonna be all about the Trade Federation negotiations with those weird, uh, not Newt Gunray, I don't know There's what they're the called. Wow! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what? That little droid did it. Oh wow. The the thing I forgot about these games is that they are kind of funny. There's not enough power to get us to Coruscant. The hyperdrive is leaking. Here, Master. Tatooine. It's small, out of the way. The Trade Federation has no presence there. <laughs> didn't they go to Coruscant? I don't know. I guess they didn't. So, um, yeah, we're heading to Tatooine. Most Espa? Ooh, but I can explore around here if I really wanted to. Interesting. This is cool. So I can't destroy those rocks, that's for sure. Ooh, but there's stuff over here. What's this? I want this. There we go. Get that super boost. Ooh. So it does tell you that uh, Padme is there. They, they, they actually named Padme. That's cool. Oh. This is nice. It's like they at least make it a little bit interactive, you know? With, like, flying through space and whatnot. I, I'm trying to figure out what the the cool aspects of the game are that are different. Like, obviously, this is not in... Okay, I need to not go too far facing into it. Nice. It's a Kyber Brick Comet right there. And I got it, right? Ooh, do I have to... I don't have to zoom in and get it. Okay, cool. I'm just good. I like flying around. This is actually really nice. It is probably a little bit disorienting for you to watch, so I'm not going to do it, like, super uh, quickly, I should say. But uh, I'll go to Mos Espa. Definitely uh, participate in the Mos Espa pod race. But yeah, they, they went to Coruscant in the movie. Or is that... I, I watched this movie relatively recently. But, but there's a point where the not-quite-Emperor Palpatine is like, Hey, you should give me control over the Senate. And for a movie that's all about franchising with, you know, toys and all sorts of... Jungadellas. They have like trade federation negotiations and politics, and it's like this is not what this is typically about. It's super weird, in my opinion. But yeah, it's always been a weird aspect of uh, episode one is like politics. And some people say, oh, politics is all part about Star Wars from the get go. And it's like, mm. I think it's about the space battles and the, the, the characters and the stories, you know? What's this? Oh, I can just... Oh, it's a taxi. I should have figured by the color scheme. Look at that. Wow. Well, that's what happens when you use your eyes. Hey, man, what's going on? Oh. Okay. Ooh, I can enter in extras for codes. That's spicy. So there's all sorts of um, tutorials here that obviously I don't need to read because reading... Who reads anymore, right? Besides my children's book. Um, but you can also enter in a bunch of codes for different characters and whatnot. Uh, those have been readily available online. I may end up popping a couple codes in to get some characters, but I can't say any of them uh, super captivate me right in this second, so I'm just going to leave it for now. All right. Um, there is something I know that I can put inside of here. Ooh, I just sliced Jar Jar by accident. Whoops. Um, do you have, like, a side story? You need a cute little propeller hat for that grubby astromech of yours? Oh. Okay. Why would I need a grubby hat for my astromech droid? Okay. Anyways, yeah, there's all these little objectives over here. Now, the main thing is going to be, what do you unlock by doing all these, you know? This is the, the issue that I have with a lot of video games, where they're like, hey, you know, you can do all these super interesting side quests and stuff, but... Um, nothing about shipper... Oh, I have to gather information. I understand. Okay. So it's not necessarily like I have to talk to these people. Well, one of them I have to, at least. Uh, so now I gotta find things across town to make happen. Um... But yeah, this is super cool that you can ride the benta, like a benta. It's great. It's awesome, man. I wish they included Mandalorian stuff in Book of Boba Fett. It'd be really cool. Eventually, one of these days they will. 
Enter into the light, shall I? What's inside of here? Hey, the, uh, the, uh, the leaking hyperdrive. For J Type 327 Nubian, I have 20,000 Republic Dactaries. The public credits are no good out here. I need something more real. I need the cryptocurrency, huh? I'm building a pod. You must have Jedi reflexes if you race pods. There's big race tomorrow on Bunti Eve. You can enter my pod, Anakin. The prize credits will more than pay for the parts they need. The force is unusually strong with him. That much is clear. He deserves better than a slave's life. The boy tells me you want to sponsor him in the race. Well, I've acquired a pod in a game of chance. I wager my new racing pod against, say, the boy and his mother. Huh? No pod is with two slaves. The boy does. Jar Jar with that tongue, man. All right. They are really cruising through the story. They are. They are. They're, Lego Star Wars is like, we're going to disregard all of the nonsense. And you're really just getting the bulk of what you need to know, which is what I've always appreciated about the complete saga and all of the other games. Even. Even with them being a little bit outdated now, actually a lot bit outdated, but it's like with this game, they're like, yeah, you don't need to know about these trade federation negotiations and the palace and the, and the blah, blah, blah. Just get to the pod race. You know, you know what the good stuff is. Get to the good stuff. So that's super cool that they're, um, they, they streamlined the game to be in that way. Love that. I absolutely love that because if there's any scene that anybody ever goes back to and they're like, yeah, let me rewatch the good part of episode one. It's the pod race. It's Duel of the Fates. And that's it. That's basically essentially everything that you do in episode one that's interesting. No one goes back to the first like 10 minutes of episode one and is like, man, I love watching these two frog people talk about trade federation negotiations. I love it. Put it in my veins. No, no one says that. Never. No one ever, ever says that. So, oh, that's cool. They give you a little fun facts about ships and stuff. Um, you visit the opera. Oh, we're already in the pod race. A half hour into the game. Beautiful. I love this. Man, they should have made that into a figure. This guy right here, Fode. Fode and his brother. Oh, that'd be cool. With that tongue. Big old tongue. <laughs> Fode and B. They should make that into a minifigure. With the dual molding and stuff. That'd be sweet. Hello, boy. When I when I'm washed up from making gaming videos, I'm gonna be those guys up in the booth. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sprout out another head. Then I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be great. Be with you. And this is pod racing. This I I did see this in somebody else's video. You get to have a, a perspective right in here. This is super cool. So with the pod race, oh, this is it. Ooh, okay. With the, ooh, okay, okay, with the pod racing before, it was like, you know, you got to see the whole pod, but now you're like stuck in the middle of the action. This is sweet. Ooh, okay, okay. Now this, this is pod racing. This is great. This is very intense. Um, they've also, that can't go that way. Oh, I can. Just kidding. Hey, look at that. Nice. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That seems familiar from the first couple games. Yes, okay. Cool, cool. They're, they're guiding me through. Very nice. Uh, we'll see how much this battle is rigged with uh, Sebulba and all that. So hopefully I can get first place on the first try here. I don't know 100% for sure. But I love the lighting effects and it reminds me obviously a lot of the Star Wars pod racing. I don't even know what Kyber Crystal I got there. It said one of six. No clue what I'm doing. Ooh. Oh, those things in the middle. These things. I remember those. Those things are super valuable. You get a ton of studs out of them. Or at least you did in the past. Um... But yeah, oh, that was a tight turn. Tight turn, tight turn. There we go, there we go. Got to get the speed boosting while I can. And I got the second of the Kyber Crystal. I don't know, whatever. Oh, those things don't count anymore. Oh, they're obstructions. What? Wait, what? What? What do you mean I disattached my pod? That doesn't happen. Oh, actually, yeah, it does. My bad. <laughs> Whoops. That is absolutely a thing, and I totally messed that one up. Whoops. My bad. 
Uh, I am in fourth place. I am straggling behind real good. That's okay, though. It's all fine. I'll catch up because the game... Oh, the game allows me to. And I can see the mini kits on the side. Look at that. See? Spicy. Um, it's giving me a minute 14 for what? Oh, there's the Tuscans. Nope. Avoid them. That's for sure. Randomly blasted onto the battlefield. Never a good sign on that one. Um... But yeah, they, they have not made a minifigure of the announcers. They also haven't made figures of most of the racers in the Mos Espa pod race. They did make a Sebulba. They made a old Sebulba and a much more, okay, yep. Made a much more modern one as well in 2012. I'm sure that one goes for a good chunk of change because there was only one modern Sebulba ever made. Uh, they came out with Anakin Skywalker's pod racer back um, for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. I did not pick up that set because I actually have Sebulba's uh, pod racer along with Anakin's pod racer. Where's the thing? Oh, oh, okay. What now? Go, baby, go. Uh, uh, okay, this is definitely rigged. Yes, definitely. Like, I, I have to get the speed boost twice, or rather, reattach it twice. That's how it is. Nice. Um, but yeah, I didn't pick that one up because I do have Anakin and Sebulba's pod racer. Um, I picked that up a couple of years ago, actually. Okay, okay. Oh, the pod's actually taking damage. Well, that's spicy. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Uh, and I almost have True Jedi, at least on one of them. That's cool, too. Uh, can I snag this first place W real quick? Let me get this W. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Go! Go! Yes! There we go. First try through. Not bad. Jar Jars. Hey, the Max Rebo, huh? Ooh, TV. You knew the boy was going to win. Somehow you knew it. Bring the parts to the main hangar. I'll come by your shop later on so you can release the boy. <laughs> He's mad. Whoa, look at all the credit we have. Now you can make your dreams come true, Annie. Pack your things. We haven't much time. Yippee! Is he to become a Jedi? Yes. What about Mom? Son, my place is here. It is time for you to let go. I will come back and free you, Mom. I promise. Oh, Master Anakin. I should have served it if I were a little more <laughs> completed. I'm sorry I wasn't able to finish it, Rufio. Bye. Oh, my. They should make that 3PO with the printed head. That'd be sweet. Free play unlocked. All the things are unlocked. Yeah, I got all the challenges. Nice. I'm actually not doing too bad on all the challenges and stuff. I thought I'd be a lot worse off. But they should totally make a 3PO with that custom print thing as if he were discombobulated. That'd be sweet. They've never done that before. What? Let me get that Kyber thing real quick. Where are you going? Oh, and they, they make it so any lit up areas, this is where you can get um, extras. And those are actual areas you can go into. Okay. You good? What was that awkward close-up? Huh? Oh, it's a key. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah, I just it just said pick up, and I'm like, wait, what? Uh this is like a ghost a protocol droid? Like, okay. I am unable to help. Oh. Oh, 3PO can't go in there. Or I can't go in there because I don't have 3PO. 3PO is not uh, with us at this time. Before, that used to be for a uh, little Ani. Ani could go under these little things right here. Why can't I? Why is he? What is this? A smoke bomb? Anakin doesn't throw smoke bombs. Anyways, what does Jar Jar do? Jar Jar does nothing. Great. Awesome. Just like in the movies. Keep it authentic. It's beautiful. So... <laughs> You know, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, listen, they made these characters, they knew what they were getting themselves into, all right? I'm not, I don't want to seem like just a blatant Jar Jar hater, okay? I understand there's probably a generation of kids out there that have a fond appreciation for Jar Jar 
his elongated tongue, his nonsensical, nonsensical ramblings, and whatever. Listen, I know what nonsensical ramblings look like. That's 90% of my videos. I don't know what I'm saying 90% of the time. But Jar Jar did not need to exist in this. It could have made him a little, you know, a little bit, a little bit different, you know? But anyways, it's good. Oh, is that, is that the Mandalorian Starfighter? Just kidding. Just kidding. Not quite yet. Give it a, give it a couple of years. Ooh, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> For some reason, that oh, grow buffaloes. That got me real good. I don't know why. Okay, so we got Naboo, Tatooine, and Coruscant. Course calm. Okay. Um. Ooh, we can go right to the Federal District. Sure. That's bright. Don't look at that at midnight. Yeah, that that got me. So okay, Jar Jar has his moments. All right. It's more so a reflection on how nonsensical Jar Jar is. Not that he adds that much more to the plot. Okay. I find him occasionally funny. Occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally. And it's not often enough to justify his plot arc. Anyways, are you are you a robot attached to a giant robot arm? You're gonna shoot lightning into the sky? Anyways. Hello. Oh, I'm in control of uh, Padme. Let me smack you real quick. To the Senate? Yeah, let's go. Make something happen. Um, I know it's a very great gift for me, yep. Okay, so I love the way that they animated Padme. Very nice waltz with the way that she walks. Very, very cool. So you kind of have to stay alongside the characters, right? You can't, like, walk too far past them. And basically you're just talking about, like, hey, so we need to make this deal with the, the Trade Federation because trading taxes and stuff, inflation, hyperinflation. It's like, all right, sure. Yes, this is how he manipulates uh, his way into getting what he wants. He's like, yeah, so clearly, you know, I can help do all this stuff. I'll take care of you. Anybody that says we'll take care of you, normally they're just trying to get something out of you. All right. Basically what it boils down to. What's your meeting there? Uh, come find me in my office. You got it. Uh, I like the way Coruscant is all around here. Very uh, lively in a nice way. Um, there's obviously different districts of Coruscant as well. Uh, in episode two, we'll see that there is a underbelly, basically. Ooh, we got all different areas. Uh, Jedi Temple, of course, East Apartment District. Gotcha. So the Senate building is where we have to go next, but the Jedi Temple building, we will be at in, in due time. So don't you worry. And it seems like it basically acts as a fast travel all throughout uh, the game, which is really, really cool. So if I go open up my map real quick, right? Okay, uh, I need to- nope, hold on. Go... Uh, down? How do I go? Yes. I'm trying to see, like, a lower... Yes, view the map. There we go. Federal District, right? Okay. Yeah, so it basically acts as a, um, a fast travel. Okay, cool. Very nice. So then you can run by clicking down on the control stick, too. So even as Padme, even though she's wearing a dress, which makes no sense, by the way. Somebody's wearing a dress. They can't run anywhere near that fast. But uh, in this situation, yes, they can. Nope. Wait. So there really is a lot of open world aspects to this. Interesting. Where's E.T.? E.T.? Where's E.T.? <laughs> we must do something quickly to stop the Federation. Order! Order! Honorable representatives of the Republic, I move for a vote of no confidence 
in Chancellor Valorum's leadership. Decided to go back to Naboo. Please, Your Majesty, stay here where it's safe. I take Anakin as my Padawan learner. Now is not the time for this. Go with the Queen to Naboo and unravel the mystery of the Sith. Clouded, this boy's future is. Listen, Yoda, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? You can't see five movies into the franchise, all right? Anakin is the chosen one, and nothing's gonna be wrong with that, okay? Um, so I'm assuming also you have to do a lot of the little, t you're, sp you're encouraged to do a lot of free play stuff in between doing the missions, but you can't do everything until you have more characters unlocked. So there's not a point in me trying to do most of this stuff, because I'll just do it when I have more characters, you know? So that's a whole part of what I'll do after I complete the main story, is uh, go to the free play and see what all the things are and if they're worth it or not, you know? So now I gotta go back to Otal Gunga with the Naboo. Visit the Naboo and be like, hey man, um, what are we doing, you know? Um, okay, so these are clearly not by episode because, or they're not in divisions like episodes because, you know, these are the only three planets in episode one, basically. So... I can go to Naboo. So there's there's space, and then there's the actual land areas as well. Cool. So they um they have made Naboo starfighters in the past. They've never made that royal ship, um the silver ship that we're flying in right now. They've never made that one. And fun fact for you, they don't make many pieces. Actually, they don't make any pieces in Chrome anymore. They used to do that back in like 1999, early 2000s where they had a UCS Ultimate Collector Series, uh, uh, not Gungan sub, Naboo Starfighter. They had an Ultimate Collector Series Naboo Starfighter, and the very front of it was all chrome. And they don't do chrome anymore because it all chips off super, super easily. And uh, obviously that's not the quality that LEGO wants. They do end up having um, like gunmetal, like a brushed silver sort of gunmetal. So they could make that ship that we were just flying in out of that gunmetal color, but they're probably not going to do that because that's a lot of gunmetal. Normally, there's all different types of um, alternatives. Like, it'd be an all gray, right? Like, um, they have done that in the past with... What's it uh, called? The Razor Crest. The Razor Crest could have been in that gunmetal color, but it was gray instead. So it's not that sort of shiny silver that you would probably really want. Oh, I just fell. Solid. Um, but hey, at least I get to explore this area a little bit more. That's stellar. But yeah... There's all different ways you can basically um, portray different ships in um, in LEGO Star Wars, but LEGO likes to do things a little bit differently with the way they portray them. Not to the most accurate ability sometimes, but sometimes what would uh, cost a little bit less and be a little more accessible for people. So the ship we were just flying in, you know, if that were actually made out of the silvery material, it'd probably be like a $200 set, and most people aren't going to be willing to spend $200 on just that one little set. They want to spend a little bit less and maybe get it in gray. So it's a bit of a, a trade-off with uh, how things are, you know? So they've never made that set. They've never made an uh, underwater Naboo set like this. They've never done that. Um, they have never made a Boss Nass minifigure, which is... What? Oh, they left. Or maybe they fled. Yeah, they totally did leave. Because they did not get captured, I remember that. Boss Nas doesn't get captured, that's for sure. Boss Nas don't play around. He... All nice and good, you know? So, now I gotta get out of here. And see what's going on up on the surface. The pressure surface, baby. So, yeah, never made Boss Nas. None of these underwater things, pods. Uh, they made a couple Gungans before, other than Jar Jar, but... There hasn't been a lot of love recently for the prequel trilogy. Lots of uh, sequel trilogy stuff, original trilogy. That's what most people know and most people love. And doing all the other movies seems to be uh, a little bit of a... Oh. Oh, I need Obi-Wan to understand what's going on here. Oh. That's kind of cool. My treads are not built for this going up and down slope things, but if I don't deliver the message, the treads will be there. Uh, sure. Here's the data log along with the message in question in this. The Spatula Spectator. Spectacular. Okay. 
Do you want to track this mission now? Sure. How do I track the mission? Does it show me exactly where to go? Uh, this is- You need to give this to someone. Uh, best of luck to you. So, some Gungan that has a spatula is who I gotta give that to. Interesting. Oh, and there's all sorts of controls for, uh, animals as well. Oh, wow. This is a cool- You can't see it right here as much, but Obi-Wan's right here. He's, like, trying to focus real hard. This is kind of cool. Oh, you can just walk around. But eventually, you lose your connection with the animal. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, and he appears right there. Interesting. All right. Yeah, let me find this uh, real quick. Let me find the spatula guy. I want to see what's going on with this. So, I took a few minutes trying to find this Gungan with the spatula. I don't know where he is. It's in the highlighted orange area right around here. Don't know where it is. So... Maybe there's some information in that little bit, but basically, I'm gonna continue doing what I was doing before, in that I'm gonna play the level, and then go back and do some free play afterward, because I haven't explored the game yet, so I don't know what, like, what is out there. Like, what I can possibly do, you know? So, I just wanna explore and see what happens. So, leave it at that. We need to find the key to the secret place. Oh boy. Uh, find the Gungan sacred place. Okay. It's broken. You gotta fix it to enter the sacred place. Okay. Oh, I gotta build. Oh. First time building something this entire time. That's spicy. All right. Nice. It's just a giant head. Okay. Well, that's a lot better off than how it was previously. Nice. And now I can actually come back here. And do whatever else I gotta do in future episodes. Stellar. I am Queen Amidala. No. I am Queen Amidala. I am Queen Amidala. No. I am Queen Amidala. No. I am Queen Amidala. I am Queen Amidala. I am Queen Amidala. I'm sorry for my deception, but it was necessary to protect myself. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. <gasps> I beg you to help us. Maybe we shall be friends. <laughs> Let's head to the palace. We must launch an attack on their control ship and confront the Viceroy. I was gonna do that, but it clearly wasn't called for. Oh, you have a beard now. All right, that's okay too. So, they move really quick through this story. It's- it's incredible. So, this latter half of, uh, oh, actually, that's the tracked mission over there. Okay, before I continue my train of thought, I gotta get a little bit better about keeping on track. Alright, 